Hey again, big flips. So today we got a move called the quick draw. So that's the move right there. Uh, this one's cool because it's really quick and it's basically the fastest way to open your knife. I know there's that guy on YouTube, you've probably seen him, fastest way ever to open your ballast on. But you have to hold the knife weird and you got to pinch it and, it's, and you're never going to be able to do that like, when you're pulling the knife. Well, you can, but anyways, this is really the fastest way to open your knife. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Here is a slow-mo. Okay, so for this move, um, hopefully you've been following along here and you learned the last tutorial. If you didn't learn it, I recommend you do. It's the wrist pass because it's going to help you not get cut when you're doing this. Um, so here it is. Um, anyways, let's get right into it. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the bite handle. Um, so that's the one that will cut you with the latch. You're going to grab it between your index and thumb here. Your three fingers, doesn't matter, they're going to be out of the way anyways. What you're going to do is you're going to fling the safe handle up over vertically over the back of your hand, like so. So you can see here, you can imagine how you could get cut here by if you don't throw it hard enough and the blade's coming back at your fingers. So that's good to do a wrist pass, which was the last tutorial. Anyways, so I'll pretend you already know that. You already know that. Um, bite handle, grab the bite handle, fling the safe handle vertically over the back of your hand. While, the, while you do that, you're going to pinch the bite handle in your last three fingers. So you can see I got three fingers here with my index pointed out. Kind of the same position I was in for the wrist pass last last tutorial anyways. So you're going to fling index and thumb on the bite handle, fling the safe handle over the back of your hand, and then now you've got your three fingers on the bite handle. So I'm going to show that transition there. You see what happened there? I kind of switched really quickly. So the safe handle leaves and my three fingers enter like that. So once your three fingers are here, the knife's on the back of your hand. But now, instead of the knife being on the back of your hand, before it hits the back of your hand, you're going to fling the safe handle up, put your three fingers in, get your thumb out of the way, and it'll open like that. So let's just do it that way, I suppose. We'll grab bite handle between thumb and index, release the safe handle, get your three fingers underneath, thumb out of the way, and open like that. So that's actually, that's the, probably the best way to start by practicing. Drop, three fingers, open like that. And basically you can just get really quick with it. You just practice it over and over again and you can just do it. Um, so you're probably going to get cut a few times practicing this one because you miss or whatever. And it ricochets off the back of your hand and it's coming at your fingers. Uh, that's all right. You'll get used to it. Um, you can practice this one with the safe handle as well if you're scared of that, um, which is fine. That's a fine thing to do. You'll learn it just the same. Um, but, of course, when you actually pull it out of your pocket, like this one has a pocket clip. Actually, I'll show a video right now of me pulling this out of my pocket so you can see how it looks. But when you pull it out of your pocket... Um, you're going to be dealing with the bite handle if your pocket, pocket clips are usually on the bite handle. Okay, so here is the draw. So you can see it's clipped in my pocket, bite handle is up. Uh, basically I'm going to reach in, grab the bite handle with my thumb, hit the uh, latch there, and flip it up. So we'll see how fast I can do this. but. Pretty fast, I think. Same thing with the waistband there. It's pretty fast. Um, so you can also do this move to close. So if you the knife's open, you grab the safe handle. Exact same thing. We're going to drop the other handle, put your three fingers on the remaining handle, and flip up like that. So there you go. That's it. Uh, not too complicated. You've just got to practice it a lot, and you can get really fluid with it and really quick. Um, so there we go. Thanks for watching.